When it comes to deploying influencing strategies, there are two temperatures that can be applied to each, warm and cool. Whether an influencing strategy is warm or cool depends on how you steer your trust of others. Exhibiting a high trust of others makes the influencing strategy warm, while adopting a low trust of others makes it cool. If we apply this to the supportive strategy, we can contrast two different paragons of warm and cool supportive influencing. Pope Francis exhibits a warm supportive influence. He has a high trust of others, meaning he is comfortable stepping out of the spotlight in order to support others in making their thoughts and opinions known. By comparison, while aid organisations such as Doctors Without Borders and the Red Cross also use the supportive strategy, they utilise the cool variant. They exhibit a low trust of others, deploying emergency aid directly into crisis situations rather than working more collaboratively through other local partners. Knowing when to use the warm or cool variant of an influencing strategy is important as each will be affected in different situations. For example, warm supportive influencing is powerful in contexts where those around you already have the tools and skills required to solve a problem but simply lack the opportunity to put them into practice. On the other hand, Cool supportive influencing is necessary when others lack the skills or tools to solve the problem and require direct intervention. Learn to steer your trust of others and master warm and cool influencing. You steer data-driven development.